Hello, my friends. I'm happy to introduce you our next lesson in a graphic module. Uh, we're going to work today on the barn. And uh, from the last lesson, we learned how to uh, put our beautiful trees on our uh, paper and try to grow it uh, on our paper from the uh, grass and uh, split between branches. And uh, also we uh, put some trees in different perspective, like a little bit uh, close to the front or farther and we learn how to see the difference and make that looks good on the picture so today uh we're still gonna have the tree just to kind of uh remind us about our practice last time but we will use it as the part of our work today but the main person on our uh, drawing today will be the barn american famous barn which is actually looks like a little house but it's uh, created for the any agricultural needs it can be the haystack there it can be occupied by animals it's a livestock and it's also can be just a storage for something which is some cowboys and the people who has some agricultural facilities used. I have some examples for you, just uh, like I always do for inspiration. And this is few different types of barns I have. Some of them can be with triangle roof. Some of them can have a little bit of rectangle roof. Some of them can be a uh, very, very interesting shape, uh, kind of triangle with the rectangle part and uh, some angles on the middle and uh, barns in the different areas are very specific it's all uh, specific and created by particular needs so it suits the uh, needs uh, they use for uh, it can be look like a house like that or it can be just a barn for animals and it also can be the few uh, barn stuck together or the smaller one and the bigger one next to it so we're not gonna uh, work on very very sophisticated barn today we're just gonna make it looks pretty simple but easy for us to accomplish our task today so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna uh, use our paper today is the horizontal direction not vertical like last time so and i will put my um camera uh, more closer to my sketch so you guys can see uh, what kind of barn i'm gonna make we still using today pastels but i will start with the pencil because pencil will help us to start um the drawing and give our barn the right shape because with pastel it's not going to be easy to do so i'm just going to use any pencil or you can use any pencil which is convenient for you to use don't uh, take the very very uh, hard ones take the a uh, little bit more softer ones it's easy to use and easy to erase if you need i use this pencil which just has the eraser on the other side you can use the separate eraser if you need so first of all we need to find the right spot for our barn that is not going to be too far away and not too close because if we're going to put it too close to us so it's not going to be enough room on our paper to locate this uh properly and it's going to be kind of overgrowing the borders of our paper so uh, first of all I will start with the horizon line the horizon line will lie out somewhere here so it's pretty much one third of our rectangle paper so that's our horizon so it's give us kind of that the stand up point where we uh, kind of locate our, our barn and where it's going to be the perspective going on toward to horizon so that will be the good layout like that i think so and then i will use the simple uh, barn form so i'm just gonna have the rectangle on the bottom and then i'm gonna add some a little bit inclined parts to that and draw another line just to 
kind of make it uh, symmetrical. You can even use the uh, line, uh, you know, that line will divide the barn on two parts. So if you worry about the sizing, uh, I don't think so. That's it's very important because the main part is just to uh, uh, create the form of it. So a nice shape. So and then I will put some triangle on the top. And uh, then uh, I will put it a little bit in perspective, so it's going to kind of go smaller toward the horizon. So, and I will just extend the rectangle over there and use the same part of the roof over here and make a little... A diff different little bit of different shape uh, on that top roof so the roof consists from two parts one kind of more square on this side another one it's um, more like a um, rectangle so and uh, here it's going to be the triangle there's a lot of ge geometry involved in there are any buildings usually so we're just trying to make it as simple as we could just not to overload you with too much of architectural drawing so we just need some sketch for our barn and then uh, as just like that we're gonna leave it like this so uh, usually barns if you remember uh, from the picture I show you they do not contain a lot of windows because it's not a house It might have some windows little ones, but that's almost just for the uh, Ventilation issue so we can have some little little tiny Windows for instance like on the top of the roof maybe and maybe we can put um, the entrance to the our barn somewhere here and then we can might just have the one window right here that's gonna do the job and usually bars they kind of open the huge door uh which is a kind of a master to be on rails and that's open the whole um barn just the whole part of the barn on the side so but we're not gonna show this open we're gonna have it closed for now so and then i want to put some trees around this barn because that's kind of in a foresty area so i will uh put some tree over here and remember how we were talking that the tree actually go from trunk to the top and has the branches of, of which is they go from the trunk to the sides and then they divide it and split uh, on a smaller one and thinner one so just like that we're just gonna make a sketch of our tree and it's gonna have the leaves on the top so we're just gonna leave leaves like that because we're just using the uh, pencil for the sketch and then I will think that I can put some some little path going out from this barn and it's probably will come forward here so because um, that probably will be easy for people who own that beautiful place to walk around we call this rancher rancher i will have this path and this path can be divided so the one side goes over there and another one just keep going somewhere then i will have the borders of this property and kind of go over here and we can have the nice gates open gates just like that it's easy for if cows live there easy to come in and that will be the borders of this territory uh, kind of divided this property and the field behind in two parts with that fence 
and then I will put another tree right over here so that's my tree over here and uh, last time we were uh, drawing with you uh, most of the time we were drawing the trees uh, trees and different sizes but I also want to kind of uh, draw your attention toward to the other varieties of any uh, trees which is you can see for instance it can be bush and bush compared with the tree has a little bit different structure uh, because uh, that's not going to overgrow uh, toward to the sky uh, and it's not going to be tall it's not going to have a lot of branches it's just a small version of the tree which is never going to overgrow like that it's just going to be the smaller size and i will put a few bushes uh, behind my a beautiful barn so and the bushes they they kind of like a fluffy uh hairs um because they almost look like a wig <laughs> not even hairs because some people have a very very fine hairs they're not gonna look like bush so we're just gonna have this wig growing behind and they sometimes like to uh, grow next to the trees nothing wrong with that so because this is tree kind of grow closer and the bush will be behind same thing we can do over here we can kind of show a little bit of bush growing behind the barn on that side and then i will put uh, another bush growing over here little trunks and they goes immediately in branches so they kind of um not have like a main a trunk and then branches goes over uh close to the top part the branches uh on the bush they kind of start growing different direction almost from a trunk right away so i'm gonna have two bushes grow together like that so then you can have them on your territory of your um rancho and then i need to think about what's gonna be behind because we want that our kind of um rancher perspective goes toward to some field over there and maybe some hills behind that field so i just gonna uh, kind of make the borders of the field right over there and then i will maybe put some hills uh, on the other side of the field and it's easy for us because we already uh, actually managed to make mountains before and actually uh, make some dunes of sand and we use uh, some hills uh, from last time for background of our trees and then that's going to be the field over there and hills behind and uh, um i think that um that's going to be enough for this picture because we we just need our beautiful barn and everything else it's kind of just a decoration for that and uh, the condition of the weather will be just a regular day just a blue sky i think and um we can use the um kind of like a fall colors for trees so usually uh if you see the photography of barns uh the most of the time uh photographers they use the fall season for beautiful pictures with the barns i guess because they just look maybe better uh i don't know but uh, I just don't want to be not boring in this time and try to um, make trees always in different colors this time. So I'm going to use the fall uh, colors. So then I will put my pencil away and I will use my pastel charts. Uh, uh, pastel charts, uh, uh, like I told you last time, we just have the basic colors. We don't have too many of them. So I will just start with the outlining of our barn and the ball. Just the lines we just create the shape line. 
and then I will kind of start a little bit with the trim here and here and bushes I'm not going to touch uh, the path will go out and has kind of divided here on two and still go forward and our mountains are there the hills are mountains up to you and our bushes are here so that's kind of good for now so i actually bought a little bit different blue because i wasn't very happy with that dark blue from last time and since i promised they were going to use only the main colors uh, then I, I thought that that one is too dark for the sky so i get like more suitable color for the sky and that's what i can start with with that beautiful blue color the interesting uh thing about the sky of for the fall season you will notice when you look at the beautiful trees uh during the fall season that they look brighter uh, when the uh, the day is actually sunny because we have the beautiful blue sky and if you remember if not i will remind you that the blue and orange they are complementary colors and so if you see leaves of trees yellow and orange and the blue sky gonna make them more bright because they are complementary colors and that's what we will try to do today we're gonna uh, color our trees with the beautiful fall colors so i'm gonna have my barn uh bright red uh, so except the roof so uh, i'm gonna have it red red that kind of red orange and red a draw on the roof side because the roof we will have metal so it's gonna be gray uh, because it will be hard to uh, color over the red if we get accidentally on the roof side here we're gonna have the white outlining on the side so I'm not gonna have the whole uh, barn just in red so I want to add some coloring I still on top. I don't know how that thing happens. Sometimes happens sometimes. Okay, so in this side, I will use the red just for this side because this is the roof right here. Show you that's uh, what I'm coloring. I'm coloring this part and this part, but this is the roof. We not color that. And the bottom part, it's gonna be the different color. So indoor will be different colors. Stop on that. And then I want to have the gray color for my uh, roof. Color. And then I will put some white on the top of it. So that's going to help me to uh, make gray. Because if you remember, black and white create which color? Gray. Good. Gray. For the roof. Okay. And then I, I will start with my trees. I want to have orangey leaves on my tree uh, over here. And what I'm going to do, I start with the yellow. Remember what I said about pastel uh, kind of sliding uh, down? Uh, use some paper to put on the bottom so that you not uh, ruin your clothes. And usually work in, in uh, your kind of sweatpants or something convenient, which is not going to be too fancy. So it's going to wash it, so it's not going to ruin your clothes. And same thing about the floor. Put some paper on the bottom on um, your uh, easel so that it's not going to ruin your carpet. So just use some precautions. 
And then when I finish with the yellow, I'm gonna use a uh, red over that. And that's gonna create which color? Orange, right? So we're gonna have orange tree. The fall beautiful leaves on this tree. With the beautiful orange leaves. And if you have some yellow I'm not covered with the red, that's fine because uh, that's how usually trees are. I will show you in this picture. You can see that the, actually the tree has the yellow and orange and reddish leaves because they not all actually get colored uh, the same way uh, during the fall season and it's the change of colors pretty much every day. So we're just going to use um, some um, tree, uh, tree with some orange and yellowish and some maybe red somewhere colors so what's gonna make it look very natural like we can see in nature and that's our tree so for this tree I'm gonna use yellow because this tree it's gonna be kind of in a, on a different schedule and we also will use a different shape for that so if that one was a little bit more roundy, remember we were talking about characters which this tree has. So this one will be more kind of oval maybe. So the different character of this tree will dictate the different colors. And also we're going to add some green in that because this tree it's not really decided yet to uh, go in fall season. It still has some green leaves growing there. Just like that. So that we just are using the shape. Uh, this one was round. This one will be more oval. And we're not like really making lots of details. Uh, on this tree because this tree kind of far away and then we use a little bit more uh, yellow on the top of it so then it's gonna give us some structure of this tree or that tree will be full of leaves yellow and green and kind of it's this the tree uh, on a turning point to the fall from the summer and we're gonna leave it like that and then i wanna use a little bit of white color for my uh sky by the horizon line over there by the hills so that it's not gonna be too dark as we usually talk because the sky uh closer to horizon has a lighter color creating now creating the lighter blue the sky will be blue without a clouds there will be the nice fall day very beautiful fall day i just adding some intensity to my sky color because before it was too light so now it's kind of a uh, little bit uh, get more vivid color for the sky because that's what we want to do. We want to have really vivid bright sky to highlight our trees so that they will be beautiful in our barn. And, and uh, just leave them for now and then we're going to uh, work on our heels. The hills will be uh, kind of yellowish green, so I will start with yellow. Just very light, because they're kind of far away, so we don't want them to be too bright. Our um, trees are, has to be bright because they're closer. And then I use uh, very, very lightly the blue color make turn this yellow into the green 
and the same thing we're gonna do with the other heel but i can use my mixed green for that and you can use your strokes uh goes a little bit horizontal uh, or um horizontal on the side kind of half vertical half diag diagonal so just like that to just keep that um a little heel um, kind of distance and then i will go over uh, with the white uh, color remember the white is kind of like a blending source for us to make colors lighter and that's what i did and here we can add a little bit not too much because we want this heel to be more brighter so but for now we'll just leave it like that we will see what we should do when we finish with the field in the field uh, i want this field to uh, be the weed field which is, has the bright uh, yellow color and i will use my vertical strokes so just to create that image of that field with the staining weed strokes on this yellow i just use it this yellow just for now and then i will add some a brown on the top because we need kind of like a fall um, orangey uh brown color for the wig because the straw is actually already dry so that would be good we need some darker color And then I will use uh, yellow on the top of him. So it's kind of like two layers um, goes over each other. And that can create it for us a uh, kind of darker yellow. And we can add a little bit of red, but not as we're drawing with that, but a side lay out this side way and then just go a little bit over there and we leave it for now because we need uh, our bushes bushes usually have the darker darker color so we're gonna use um the blue first blue and this one too and over here we're gonna go over with green just to, because they're gonna be the darker green source for us because those bushes are they haven't turned into the fall season colors yet they're kind of green and we use this just because we don't want to mix everything and do the all the similar color on everything so we already have yellow on our field and yellow in the trees so we want to keep that bushes green um, just for our our color uh, color composition and you can um, use of uh, this color uh, not because you decided like that but that's bas basically can be in nature like that too so they're not all the trees and bushes turn yellow uh, in, or orange in the same time some of them not so then uh, for the grass here we're just gonna use that green uh, sideways main color for now i'm trying to work on everything in the same time if you notice because that's give me my colors so like i can see exactly what i have so that it's easy for me to get details after so then uh if you remember we were uh working on our path before and we used the brown yellow and a little bit of red and white so it's kind of very uh, complicated col color because it's not like a dirt color but it's also dry dirt so 
You need to make it look like a real door. Because it has that air on it from the atmosphere. And here, this is our path. We're going to go sideways. And we can use a little bit more greens green color over here on the side right here will be still green but we can add a little bit of yellow because if you remember that because the grass has the surface light out it's kind of lying down so let's get more light compared with trees so we need to add so uh, a little bit of yellow on it, so because it's still not that dark. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add some yellow, and that's gonna make it interesting. So because the more similar color goes a uh, longer time on the same surface, the kind of more boring it's become because. Our eye uh, uh, developed this way that we can kind of react uh, on the interesting changes uh, in our perspective. So that is kind of draw our attention. So same with the architectural forms. So that's why uh, as less boring the picture, uh, more attention is drawn to it. Get some compliments on how good we are and how beautiful we paint and that's to accomplish that then we have to be more professional right and use the tricks and just uh, let us trigger more attention to our work and then i actually use some blue in it but i'm gonna use that blue um uh, which is was before uh we used last time uh it's kind of darker blue kind of uh, in this point it's here it's uh, it kind of will be useful for us to have that blue the darker blue so you see this like when we use a few colors on our picture the grass um it has like a lot of light um play a play in shadows and grass because it's all depends on which place the grass is under the trees it might be darker on open sunshine it might be lighter so it's all about the location where the location of your grass and then when we cover that we can come back to our path and add some reddening the field or the field probably some other place some town behind that hills this is our pass don't overdo this with the red because it's gonna kind of um start fighting color wise with our barn so we need to kind of calm down the color a little bit with our lifesaver and blender white pump. Kind of image of the path we go on. It's repeat the same layout. And it's kind of nice because your strokes are not boring again. Uh, so we're trying to make the variety of our tools to be used so here this is more vertical and here we have horizontal the trees are half vertical and the sky is horizontal so it's kind of create dynamic a reason dynamic of your work and that's important because that's make us more professional for the sky i want to kind of 
go um, a little bit with color over here. And I kind of use a little bit of uh, diagonal strokes on that. Just to create um, more intensity in that color. Because it seems like vertical uh, strokes that doesn't do uh, the job enough. So I use that uh, kind of direction. So the direction give us more intense color okay. on the end on the top of your work and don't be too boring with that direction because that's kind of uh the both direction create uh very intense colors so some uh, of this color may be too um intense so be careful don't overdo the sky otherwise it's going to become look like a night sky and then we don't need that because we just have everything already for the day time in our picture it's a beautiful sunny day picture so i'm going to use a little bit of white to smooth my sky and give to that uh the nice color and it kind of will eliminate that uh, strokes a little bit so it gives us the beautiful smooth uh, layout of the sky the sky is because it's farther and if it's too intense by color that's gonna bring too much attention to that we don't need that because our main character it's our barn so and i want to work on it a little bit so to give more attention to barn i'm gonna highlight that with the color just like that because this is gonna be uh, the main character on our picture and we need this to be intense uh, and vivid. So uh, we make this picture because of this barn. So we have to have our color, color characteristic and uh, topic characteristic highlighted. So this is what we're doing. So we get our red barn really red. Uh, blue. For this side of the barn because this is the side of which is um, kind of in a shadow that's the main part of it and this one is uh, in shadow so I will add a little bit of a blue to um, get a little bit of a uh, shadow on that so highlight that with the blue and it's become purple if you remember red and um red and blue create the purple some um, shadow on my little path become almost invisible going farther farther away and that's gonna create some borders for it so because this path is kind of going farther away and it's kind of fading and here by our barn area it has to be more darker. I'm going to use more brown on the top of this bowl and here to my barn and then I will work on my uh, trunks of the trees with more brown and then um this tree I, it's kind of remind me the other tree so i'm just gonna make the um, go ahead and make the white trunk for that tree um that other tree will have some black strokes on that so it's gonna will still be visible because white it's hard to um make white because it's hard to see uh white in nature right 
but here uh, it's hard to make it look like on uh, white in the picture too but we will use few black strokes on that so just to have some branches and the design on this too the very nature color that and then i need also to do the fans and the fans will be kind of light brown so i will uh, use the brown and yellow on that so not too brown because already have our trunk brown and our past brown so we're just gonna use this um, brown with yellow so to create another color i've got about branches uh, in the trunk of the bushes so they might be brown too and we just need to work on their place around with the grass same thing by this path you know that i don't like to leave a lot of empty spots so that's why kind of the supporter on finishing your work even if you don't like it just finish anyway because then you have something to compare later when you become more advanced you can look at your pictures and see oh okay i'm growing so as an artist and i can do better so you have to have some counting point for that so once is when we start and then it helps you to compare because it's all about comparison right the colors to compare to each other uh, and uh, your professional growth will be comparable to me so i have my path here with the field so i'm kind of like detailing right now putting some details on my work it become behind the um fence it's okay i can do it because i'll kind of uh, that's why it's important to start your drawing and make the nice drawing so that you won't forget where the things and how they will lie out so my bush will go there on behind the fence it's okay i can do it and then i have my field there too Also, with our colors, which color go where, what to highlight, what to kind of smooth down a little bit. So this is what we're doing now with our pastel. I'm working on yellow now on the field. And I think that I need a little bit. Oh, I forgot to finish our barn here. So I want to use the gray and the entrance will be black that's okay to be black we have almost nothing on our picture black but entrance to the barn will be black and we also can uh, cover uh, this gray over here with white so then we're going to create the bottom of the our barn right here it's like a storage space right so we join today the storage space or any storage of tools equipment Maybe tractor is hiding there. And then I use the uh, blue color for my windows because it's dark inside. So I'm just going to use the blue for that purple color in the uh, windows because if we leave it blue, it looks like the um, sky is um, so it's like uh, one side only the building. It doesn't have the other side so then you can see the sky we don't want that <laughs> we want this to be just a facility with four walls okay. 
and um, I think that I still need a little bit intensity of my sky is the strokes going the other direction as before I, I went them from that left side to the right now I'm kind of using the other way so I need more color because this is too light now I thought before will be too bright but uh, still not enough. kind of outlining the uh, trees and give us more um, kind of a uh, nice background and a uh, comparable color for that so that's help us to create the right complementary color blending for the close to the heels are we heels uh we were working with some blue for this one in yellow and that's what they're gonna do i'm gonna use the side of the chart to blend it like that and the other one was blue and a little bit of white i guess and still a little bit of yellow there. i'm gonna leave it like this that's enough and then i will kind of more make more intense color for the tree so that's going to be the good vivid yellow and green for our tree and i add since i already have the yellow in my hands i will add some for this tree and um also for the field too and then uh it needs some red for this tree because it's orange and the other one has green because that one doesn't really turn to the fall colors we still have some green in them and then we're gonna work a little bit on our bushes right here for the finishing of our composition and a little bit of green because they are still green that bushes they don't get some yellow on them some of the bushes they uh, get orange late late november not only uh, in october trees are kind of start turning uh, red and orange in october but bushes stay longer i guess and um just like that we add some grass on our field in the front of the barn and then uh, i'm missing some fence color i guess i was talking about it some yarn that down so that's gonna add us uh, some make it make from wood i'm gonna make it from the wood so that's why we need some nice light brown this is it that's for the gates and right here and here and here too and then i think that i can uh fix a little bit our roof the roof kind of get lost in the uh, sky color and hills color so add some color to the roof shade 
right here. And this part is going to get more sunlight on them. So we're going to highlight this more compared with the other part. And we're going to outline that from this side too, because this side has the roof too. It's just not visible because the house, that barn is standing this way, so that we don't see that side of the roof. This way, going this way, and we are here too. And you can leave a little bit of that black highlights on it, so just to give you some structure. And um, then same thing on the bottom, right here. It can get some graphic in it too. Kind of over go with that uh, white on it. I think that we can have the connection, the red color connection next to it more shape in this barn our drawing that's what's gonna happen we're gonna have a nice picture of our barn standing in that beautiful rancher landscape And our windows, I will highlight them with white. And I believe so the last thing I, or I want to show you how to finish the trees because that kind of uh, get a little bit faded. Uh, the branches and the trunk of the tree get faded with the leaves. But we're not gonna uh, draw this everywhere. We just get some highlights in the crown right here. And same thing with the other tree. And because it has the black uh, design on it, we can highlight that a little bit too. The branch is kind of hiding in the tree now, in the leaves. So I'm not going to draw them a lot, just to mention that they are there. And same thing with the leaves over there. So I kind of need to uh, show the shape again. Kind of, kind of lost a little bit there. So that's our shape. And now uh, we can work a little bit between that branches and these bushes so they show a little bit of field there the connection and here too uh, i think that this heel can have more color because it's kind of on the front of the other one so it can have a little bit more color in it In that path, I'm oh, kind of going, it's going to get lost a little bit. I'm oh, going, 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 gone. I'm going there. And that's going to kind of create it for us some perspective because that's what we were trying to do. We're trying to show this our field is going farther away and it has the, some haystack we're going so i'm just kind of separating heels and heel with that brown And what else we need? We need some 
branches on the bushes on here. They're going to get lost a little bit. Put them there. And uh, anything else, maybe a little bit on grass. We we'll have to work on the grass. Vertical stalks because the grass kind of go this way. And we need something to break the pattern so don't do the same direction as our path going. And I think that us uh, will be over when we uh, kind of work a little bit on the front right here. I have a little bit of stash of green color here. <laughs> I will just use my finger to spread it. But uh, my path kind of not going the right direction, so I need uh, to continue that here. And also the red. I use the red for that. And a little bit of purple on it. The purple, the red, and um, blue created them. And kind of smooth this a little bit more brown. And some white. Just to smooth that intensity of brown color. Because that's still the dry surface, it's not the vivid brown as the dirt after the rain, for instance, or after when you water the flowers. So this is it. And we need just a little bit different color compared with the branch, right? We don't need the same color. I think that we can stop with that after when we connect on the tree with the sky over here. And I add some intensity here on the top, make it more vivid so that it's going to be right as the sky usually look like. Because that's when the colors are on the top, it looks like a little bit more intense on the sky. And this is going to do it. So I think that we're done for today. And I just want to show you our picture and repeat one more time what we did today. So we were working with our pastel on the architectural uh, task. We were creating our barn, the special agricultural building to stash the haystack or some tools or maybe some animals, livestock and the cows and pigs and uh, chicken uh, hens and uh, roosters there and also uh it might be some uh stuff of our of goodies for from harvest so this is what we did and since it's a uh, fall season that's probably full of uh, different kind of things uh and also we were working on our trees again because we want to put some trees in our pictures and kind of um, repeat what we learned last time about the trees and characters of them. We have two different types of trees here and also I told you about bushes that they are a little bit different compared with the trees. They never grew up tall so they kind of like a bushy wigs <laughs> so on little trunks and little branches. And I also uh, put some roll, uh, which is have the significant roll on that picture, kind of help us to show the perspective of this picture. Uh, because the road, if you notice, go far, far away to the, our hills. And the hills are uh, right over there. And they divided 
uh, by the shield. Uh, so this is our work for today. Thank you for listening and see you guys next time.